Okay, so in this problem, we're told that a 0.4 kilogram ball is thrown with a speed of 8.5 meters per second at an upward angle of 36 degrees. What is its speed at the highest point? And B, how high does it go? And we're going to use conservation of energy. So let's go ahead and kind of understand what's going on here. So we have this ball. We know it's going to be thrown at an angle of 36 degrees. And its initial velocity is 8.5 meters per second. And so uh, we're also given the mass. So uh, let's go ahead and start with A. So A, we're trying to find the speed at its highest point. So the speed right here. And the thing you have to understand is when you throw a ball like this, you should remember it from kinematics. The velocity of the ball in the y direction is zero at its highest point. So if we know the velocity of the ball in the y is zero meters per second at its highest point, uh, we just need to find the velocity. It's actually v sub y. So v sub y is zero meters per second at its highest point we need to find what v sub x is because they're having us find the speed or the velocity, the magnitude at its highest point, which would be uh, v sub y squared plus v sub x squared like this because you need both components and then uh, use this formula to find the magnitude. But notice that v sub y is zero because at its highest point, we know y is zero. So if y is zero, v is really just the square root of v sub x squared, meaning v is equal to v sub x. So if we can find the velocity in the x at this point, uh, then we'll have our answer. Uh, but what you should notice is, again, in a uh, two-dimensional kinematic problem like this, uh, unless specified otherwise, the velocity in, or sorry, the acceleration in the x is zero meters per second squared. And the reason that is, is we only have acceleration in the y as a result of gravity. And if acceleration is zero, this means the velocity is just constant throughout the entire uh, movement. And so if it's constant throughout the velocity here uh, at the point we're trying to find in the x is the same as the velocity initially. So really, all we have to do is find the x component of the velocity initially, and that's our answer. So hopefully you understood that. But to find the x component, uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can imagine it like a triangle like this. This is our 8.5, and then this is our angle here. So all we're doing is drawing a triangle, basically. And we want to find the x component, which is this side right here. And the way we do that is by using uh, the cosine function. So you should know the cosine of an angle is the adjacent side of the angle over the hypotenuse side. So the adjacent side is the x over the hypotenuse, meaning our x component is just uh, 8.5, right? All I did was multiply both sides to get the 8.5 canceled. So x is equal to 8.5 cos of 36. So uh, this right here is our initial component uh, or the initial velocity x component and as we said it's equal to the uh, x component of the velocity here which we know is just equal to its speed uh, since its velocity in the y is zero at that point therefore our answer for um, for a is just going to be 8.5 cos of 36 and plugging this in you're going to get 6.877 so you can round this however you'd like uh, you can just say 6.9 meters per second, uh, just round however you would like or however your teacher wants you to. Uh, but yeah, so this is your answer to A in the velocity. Now let's move on to B. So B, we're going to be dealing with how high it goes. So we're trying to find this uh, distance right here, which we can call H, and that's what we're going to be solving for. And they um, tell us to use conservation of energy, meaning we're going to use... Uh, Right, the law of conservation of energy, which basically tells us that uh, the kinetic energy initial plus the initial potential energy has to be, uh, be equal to the final kinetic and the final potential. So basically, the energy initially has to be equal to the energy at the end. That's just, just a rule. And so we have kinetic and potential. So we just need to determine the initial kinetic and potential energy and then the final. Okay, cool. So uh, if you don't know, the formulas for kinetic energy are or for kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Uh, for potential, I'm just going to denote it with a p. Sometimes you use a u, but I'm just going to use a p for potential, uh, is mgh. So these are the two. So uh, if we write this out, it's just going to be one half mv initial squared, since the mass is just constant, plus mgh initial. Uh, initial. Uh, and then we just have uh, one half mv final squared plus mgh final. 
So all we did was initial, initial, final, final. So all we have to do is determine the initial height and velocity and then the final height and velocity. So looking at our drawing, um, we know that the initial velocity is going to be 8.5 meters per second. So let's go ahead and write that in. One half, uh, the mass. So I'm just gonna cast, uh, cancel this from every term since we have a mass in every term. So it actually doesn't matter. So one half times the initial velocity, 8.5 squared plus uh, g. So g is 9.8, but notice the initial height. We can pick where we want to do that. So I'm just going to say this is the bottom, and this would be 0. So this is our axis here. So we start at 0, so the initial height we're just going to call 0. So if this h is 0, uh, it would mean the whole term goes to 0, meaning it's basically gone. So this just disappears. We have 1 half v final. Uh, we know what the final velocity is. It is 6.9 uh, squared plus uh, g, which is the constant, uh, 9.8. Uh, the acceleration due to gravity, and then h final is what we're solving for. We're trying to find how high it goes. So if we can figure out the final height, that is um, how high it goes. So this is our equation. What we want to do is simplify it now. So I'm just going to do 8.5 squared divided by 2, which is 36.125 equals 6.9 squared uh, divided by 2 is 23.805 plus 9.8 hf. If I minus this from both sides, uh, there we go. Let's see what that is. So 36.125 minus 23.805 is 12.32 equals 9.8 hf. So dividing by 9.8, will give you 1.257. So HF equals 1.257 meters. Since we're using uh, meters per second, uh, our distance would be in meters. So HF is uh, 1.257 meters. You can round to 1.3 or however you would like to round. So it's about 1.3 meters uh, is going to be our height. So this distance right here, which basically is its maximum height, is 1.3 meters so uh, yeah so this would be your answer to B 1.3 meters uh, your answer to a which was the velocity at the highest point is right here and yeah so uh, these are gonna be your answers and hopefully you found this useful